Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to build a PowerPoint presentation using ChatGPT. That's it. If these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell icon to get notified. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master artificial intelligence and machine learning to land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of artificial intelligence and machine learning programs. Simply Learn offers an artificial intelligence and machine learning postgraduate program from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise and skills. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into an artificial intelligence and machine learning programming role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find an artificial intelligence and machine learning program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now without further delay, let's get started. Now, creating a PowerPoint presentation for either a client meeting or a business meeting has always been consuming a lot of time. And what if I tell you there is a shortcut to a using your friendly chat GPT to reduce the time in PowerPoint presentation making and make it just feel like a breeze, right? So that's the whole point of today's tutorial. So we will use the help of chat GPT to create as a prompt and utilize the same prompt and use a new feature of Microsoft 365 to help us generate a readily available PowerPoint template, which is, you know, might take a little edit and overall you'll get a 70 to 80 percent finished PowerPoint presentation in a few seconds or maybe in minutes, maybe like two minutes, right? That sounds wonderful. Now, let's quickly switch to a uh, chat GPT and give it a small prompt about what type of uh, presentation are we looking for. So since uh, AI is booming, so let's give it a prompt where it should give us PPT content uh, based on what is AI and companies hiring, salary, and who is who exactly is an AI engineer, right? A few points on that. Now let's quickly switch to ChatGPT. Yeah, now we are on ChatGPT. So you can either use the free version 3.5 or a paid version of just 4. Anything works for us. Now let's quickly type in uh, create a uh, PowerPoint or create uh, a PowerPoint content for the topic what is artificial intelligence you can use Grammarly to autocorrect ensure you cover points on the following point number one what is artificial intelligence number two can be who is an artificial intelligence engineer then pros and cons of AI salary of an AI engineer can be the fourth point first one could be the company is hiring AI engineers okay let's squeeze in a few more points maybe the skills required become an AI engineer roles of an AI engineer okay so we have so far created uh, a decent prompt which could help us in the creation of the PowerPoint presentation 
let's also add in a few more minute details uh, ensure you create about one to two slides as a minimum on each of these individual topics or subheadings correct so far so good uh, yeah so i think this prompt will generate us some information let's quickly fire and see what it has to give us here's a structured outline and content for a PowerPoint presentation on the topic what is artificial intelligence which includes the specified subheadings nice so slide wise now you might have to copy the title for the title it's not a big deal let's copy it later but let's check our slides so we have slide 5 slide 6 slide 7 slide 8 brilliant and it also has a concluding slide which is slide 9 sounds pretty good and it also has some questions nice now all we have to do is just simply copy what chat gpt has given us you can either use uh, the copy button right here or uh, you can just manually copy because i only need uh, this part of the prompt now the next part is we will be needing the help of microsoft's newly provided update right the online version of microsoft 365 you can access it just by typing new dot uh, or new dot word and uh, okay it's word dot new so, and automatically a prompt or you know a window which looks something like this will open up and uh, you might have to create a microsoft account for this even a free microsoft account will help you don't have to buy the premium version or premium license for it so you just need to create a microsoft account and log in boom there you go now just paste what chat gpt gave you okay uh, you can use the paste options paste text only okay i don't need a whole new tool for that so control shift v also works presented by you can add your name i think simply even right now presentation date could be any date that you are about to present this particular you know maybe presentation so i will give a random date 26 of uh, april 2025 and let's be uh, it, it's just a made up date it's not the real date title is artificial intelligence so far so good now what you have to do is just go to file and here you can export this as a powerpoint presentation you will have multiple previews with good animations and you'll have a uh, you know bunch of images which will represent ai if you're not happy with this you always have an option okay it just navigated to a different window not bad okay so back to the same window again so just go to file export as a powerpoint presentation you'll have a preview and if you're not happy with the default presentations what 365 has to give you you can always have the option of exploring more just click on see more themes and you can always have an option of selecting something relevant to ai maybe you know some artificial intelligence related stuff anything like that and, and if you just have a normal presentation maybe i'll go with this one over here it is preparing your slides summarizing all your content so remember it will definitely give you at least uh, maybe 60 to 80 percent of all your presentation and it is you know it, it may need not 100 percent may need minute editings here and there maybe adding your company's name maybe adding a few more expert views or something like that and voila your ppt will be all ready so this is how it's going to look like and in case if you want to add some pictures to the background you can also do that now you can just you know download this particular ppd uh, save uh, you know you can download a copy and your presentation would be ready let's give it another try in case if we have a few more uh, new options available let me take a look at this one 
so the ppt is ready you can also uh, customize this to heading options maybe this is also one of the reasons why a few uh, minute mistakes might happen in real time so all my fonts are in the same format right so there is no differentiation between h1 and h2 and the normal text correct so ai might get a little confused here so just to eliminate that uh, small confusion we can change the text back to h1 and h2 so that it identifies it has a separate text or it has a, it has to create a separate uh, slide for it now let's give it a, a different try so that let's check if we can get all the ppts i'll go with this one there you go now it has created uh, different slides for different uh, ppts and uh, there's always an option of going with a different version or different appearance different theme right it has a bunch of themes on the powerpoint window and if you see there is no major difference between the authentic word document and an authentic uh, powerpoint document you always have all those design elements transitions animations slideshows and also pictures from online etc so uh, that brings us to the end so that's how you create a powerpoint presentation using chat gpd and with that we have come to the end of the session should you have any queries or if you require any of the resources that we used in the session like the chat gpd prompt or the word document etc please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply your staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing or programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.